Hi, this is Neil from Polypop Live, and today I'm going to talk to you about something that comes up a lot from people who are just starting to use Polypop, and it is how to crop your webcam feed, how to crop your camera, how to crop your videos, and how to crop images, which is actually very simple. I'm also going to show you how to add filters to a webcam, and I will show you how to add chroma key or green screen effect to your webcam feed. So let's get to it. First, I'm going to clear everything so I can start from scratch. Now I'm going to start a new project under categories, basic, I will click on the new project. So the first thing we'll need to do is add our webcam feed. Now to do that, I will open my library either by clicking here on the open library or I can press the L key on my keyboard that opens the library because this is a tutorial I will pin it down so it will stay so I clicked pin icon over here and now the library is pinned now I'm gonna add my webcam I'm gonna click on the plus button in the library I will choose webcam and there it is so let's crop it let's say the angle is too wide and I just want to crop my webcam feed because I don't want people to see everything around me uh, in order to do that I will hover over my webcam layer here in the library. When I do that, I have a little plus button. When I click that, I have the crop and filter option. Let's click that. And now I'm in the crop and filter mode. Here I can crop my webcam feed any way I want. I can also make sure it's a fixed aspect ratio. If I go here under image and I click on the HD, for example, or where these are the two fixed options um, HD is fine I will choose that I, at this point I can also add filters if I want so let's add a filter I will click on the plus button under filters I will randomly pick the gradient map filter so these filters that change the colors you can have a fine point gradient you can have a three point gradient and you can have a two point gradient of course you can change their colors so if I don't like this purple I can change it to something else by clicking on the color and choosing another one let's say let's change the red to green and I think this is good enough for now and if I'm happy with what I have I will click on the go back button what happens now is I still have my webcam my original webcam feed now I also have a child source let's name it um, blue and green and I can treat it as any other uh, source. I can put it in my scene multiple times, of course. I can use it as a texture for a 3D object. Let's do that. I will click on the plus button here and the scene layout. I will look for a screen. I will scroll down and let's choose screen number one. Now Polypop asked me to choose a texture. So right now I have two textures in my library, the original webcam texture, but also the cropped and filter texture. So I'm gonna choose that, click OK. And now my 3D screen has this texture. Let's make it bigger. First, I'm gonna make sure my screen layer is selected in the scene layout. And then I will go to the transform here at the bottom. I will expand it and I have a scale. I can scale it up as much as I want. Of course, that I can rotate it. I can bring it forward and back. And basically I set it up as I want to. Now the nice thing about Polypop is you can have more than one child object. I can have as many child objects for the webcam as I want. So let's add another one. I'm gonna go here to the webcam, click again on the crop and filter. Let's, let's really crop it this time. Something like on my face. I'm gonna make it again HD format. Let's add another filter. Let's add now black and white filter. It's a bit dark, so I'm gonna add another filter. I'm gonna add a brightness contrast filter. I will play with the values a little bit to make it a bit brighter. And that's good for now. I'm gonna click on the go back button and there you go. Now you have two child objects for the same source. So I have a child source, which is blue and green, and let's call this B and W. So I can use this again as any others. I can even drop this on the 3D to change its texture. And now you can see I have another texture. Let's bring back the old one. I can add it to another 3D object. Let's do that. I'm gonna click on the plus button again in the scene layout. I'm gonna choose another screen. This time, let's choose a cube, box two. Here it is. Now it asks me to choose a texture. I'm gonna choose the black and white one. And there you go. 
here is this 3D object with that texture. I can add this Q physics mod to make it float, for example. So I click on the plus button and I make sure the layer is selected in the scene layout, the black and white 3D object. I will click on the plus button under mods and I will choose physics. I will go down, let me close the transform so we can see better. I will enable the float and now you can see that this cube is flying around in our scene. You should know that the same concept of crop and filter applies also to video and images. So if you want to crop a video or an image, you just hover with your mouse on this layer, click on the crop and filter button and just repeat whatever we just did. You should also know that you can keep edit these child sources. So let's say I want to change the colors of the child source I created already. I just hover above it this edit icon and now I'm back in the crop and filter mode. I can select the filter I already added, change its colors or just add another filter and I can change my cropping borders. Once I'm done, I just click on go back and there you go. Crop and filter is also where you can find the chroma key or green screen setting. So let's go there and see how we do that. I will click on the plus button here under the webcam, crop and filter, and I'm back in the crop and filter mode. Before we do that, let me set up my green screen and we can continue from there. So I'm back and now I have the green screen behind me. So let's see how we use chroma key in Polypop. Once I'm back in the crop and filter mode, I will again, click on the plus button under filters and you will see there is a chroma key filter. I'll just double click it or add it and there it is. The default settings are not perfect with my settings around here so let's um, change the threshold values until I'm satisfied something like this. Yeah, it looks fairly good. I'm gonna crop it this corner so nobody will know that my green screen is not as big as it looks. Um, yep, let's just give it the HD format. Once I'm done, I can click on the go back button and you can see here under the webcam, I have a new child source. Let's call it Chroma. And when I drag it to my canvas, you will see that the background is keyed out. Let me change the color of the background so we will see it better. So there you go, now you know how to crop your webcam feed, a video or an image, and also how to apply a chroma key filter to your green screen. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.